Hi, I'm Imogen Lamport from Inside Out Style Blog. And I'm Jill Chivers from ShopYourWardrobe.com. Now, today we're going to talk about some tips on how to layer necklaces. Yes, something I do quite a lot. You do, and so we're going to just give you a few little tips on ways you might think about layering some of the jewellery you've got in your wardrobe, or if you're even thinking about layering, you know, maybe what you could get if you haven't got anything to layer. Yeah, and I think the reason you want to do this is sometimes we can get a bit bored with our accessories, and we only ever wear them one way, the way we were either showing how to wear them, or the way we saw them in the store when we bought them, and it can just add some variety and interest into how you accessorise when you start to play with them a little bit more. Particularly if you're wearing something quite plain too, that if you can change up the colours, the styles, the shapes, the what, level of refinement of how dressy they are versus how casual they are, you can actually make your outfit look quite different. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we haven't really started with a plain base today, <laughs> um, but I mean, I, I tend to, you know, not be very plain anyway. No. So today you've got on here a little long number, which mm. has got a little bit of a few leopard beads, some pearls, a little bit of a shiny leopard, and a few kind of um, amber colours, plus a few little turquoise. Put that on with a little double strand turquoise necklace mm. that brings out the turquoise in the longer one. And I, I made this myself from Reclaimed Beads, and I see it as a neutral. I see it as though I'm wearing something quite neutral. A lot of people, it would be their statement piece, but for me, I wear it as a neutral. And I wear this with all kinds of different things. So, so this is one, this double strand um, turquoise that I wear it with, but I wear it with lots of different necklaces. Thank you. Um, not just this one here. So this is another one that I made, which is all animal print beads, another long one. So that puts two long ones together, and I would either wear it like that, or twist that around and wear it like that. Yeah, it's quite nice too to have two, some different lengths when you're thinking about lowering things, because not everything has to be the same length. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and what makes this work is that it is actually the exact same beads, but, but they wouldn't have to be, oh. so long as there was a general colour relationship yeah. between the two. And here's another one that you also play with, with this other necklace. So this is a long necklace, but it's not quite as long. Yeah, and it's actually made from some of the same reclaimed beads. Yes. Um, but I made it a little shorter and I put this little Pins. crystal yeah. thing on the bottom of it. Um, so I will wear that and I really like that combination because this has a focal point. The shape of it is different. Yes. Um, and so that's another combination that, that I really yeah. like. So you yeah. can think about one with a pendant and one just a, a string of beads or some way. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a really, really nice look. And if they're slightly different lengths, then the pendant will either hang below or above the other necklace. Yes. So that's a really nice look, I think. Um, and so here I've got a few other pieces of yours. Now this one here is a long strand of wooden beads. Yes, another jewel creation. Yes. Um, and and a, a totally neutral piece. And I'll wear this um, either like that or most often I'll wear it long. I knot it sometimes. And so what sorts of things do you put that with? I wear this with everything. I wear this with, uh, so this long piece here, I wear it with this one quite a lot. They're actually almost the same length, but I will also wear that shorter like yes. that. Um, and I will wear it with um, um, my coloured beads, like those ones so, over there. And I will sometimes even wear it with my, I call this my harlequin piece. I'll sometimes even wear it with, with that. I know that they're quite a few different things, but this is quite a casual piece and this is very casual. Yes. And I think that that sort of makes it work if I'm wearing some tropical colours. But interesting, you mentioned that you wouldn't normally wear it with this piece. Now this piece yeah. has got some pearls um, and some sparkly glass beads yeah. and it's because this is more dressy and this is way more casual. Yeah, I think you could wear this you could wear if you wanted to. I was looking at that going, it actually works quite well, but it does, the wooden beads are probably slightly out of place. Yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah. Um, and so probably it's not quite as great a match. Yeah, yeah, I just feel that they're, they're of a, a, a different, um, I guess, it's a level of refinement. Level of refinement, that's yes. what it is. Yes. So here we have, so one of the other things too is you can think about so you wear these orange beads? Yeah, so these are wooden ones, so quite cheap wooden ones, but a nice long strand. I wear these to death. Now it's very easy just to match them back and won't put these on. Yeah. Just with another set of orange, so you've got long and short orange, yeah. all in the same colour. So yeah. that's really easy. Yeah. But then you can also think about maybe here we've got some other citrus colours, we can get the orange with yes. yellow. I love that co combination. It's really fresh and zesty. Um, and, and feels you know really terrific on and occasionally I'll even put the green ones on with them. Now too also one of the things to think about here is that this set of beads is a little bit chunkier and different while well, this is finer so it's also yeah. thinking about one's chunkier one's finer 
designer, one's longer, one's shorter. Yeah. You know, those some of the elements of sometimes if you're putting things together, that if everything's very samey. Yeah. It can look a little bit too trying to be matched. Yeah, and, and like um, you were trying to wear all your jewellery all at the same time. Yes. yes. Now this is another option you mentioned that Jill said I would never put these together so I'm going to put them on her. The reason is, is this is a cultural reason. Yes, this is. These are the colours of a lot of Australian sporting teams, even though we have red, white and blue in our flag. Um, yeah, a lot of our sporting teams wear red. Green yeah. and gold. Green and gold. gold because yes. of the wattle tree, which is where we tend to. So every, you know, Olympic uniform and stuff tends to be green and gold. Yes. So this feels, you know, it, it looks gorgeous together, mm. but it's a cultural reason. So sometimes you might think, you know, it doesn't go, but it, actually it's, it does go. It's just, you know, the cultural. But then maybe if you pop the orange on as well, you wouldn't feel so. Yes, I would certainly feel very fruity in this. Yes. And if I was wearing some very colours. Yeah, if yeah. If you're wearing one of your very kind of coloured jackets or something, that yeah. would work really well. Yeah, and I would wear all, the, all of these three at the same time. Yeah. Mm. So that's just a few little tips when you're thinking about how to land some necklaces because it's something to go away and try and have some fun with. Yeah, and I think that's the thing. It's just play around with it. And, and don't just play around with it in your wardrobe. Wear it for the day. Yes. Um, because in your wardrobe you can often trip yourself up and, and get self conscious and think oh no I'll feel ridiculous and when you step outside the boundaries of what feels safe you can find all kinds of possibilities that are lots of fun and clothes should be fun and the reality is is you're not going to die if you didn't accessorize well for one day so no one has yet died from accessorizing as far as we know <laughs> yes um, so so you know have some fun have a play and try something new absolutely